the extraction and working of metal can be considered a technological revolution. High temperatures even exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius were necessary for extracting metal from ore. Apart from tools and their molds, many sites yielded various smelting implements, like nozzles, melting pots and crucibles. Copper is resilient, but very soft metal and can easily bend, crumple or collapse. So instead of long and heavy blades, spear points and daggers would be created. In the 4th and 3rd millennium BC, copper blades in Europe often resembled the shape and figure of previous stone blades. The earliest copper daggers had short, stout blades with a triangular outline that attempted to balance out the metal softness. They were either cast in mold or cut out and hammered into shape. Early on, a separate hilt was required that was then riveted or glued to the blade. Later, a tang was used to insert blade into the hilt section. Another development was an introduction of a medial ridge. With a thick central spine, the rest of the blade could be thinner and lighter.